made it in and I'm so excited. Today's vlog is all about this weekend at Disneyland Paris ah! and here to celebrate the 30th anniversary as well. I'm in the main street of Disneyland Paris and it's so exciting already! It's early days. Oh, you hear that soundtrack? Oh, ah! Look at this place! Truly the happiest place on earth. place is absolutely magical and it's just so cool walking around staring up all these beautiful buildings <gasps> with such cool names too like the Emporium the delicious sweets <laughs> and then look look I'm gonna show you this epic view Look at Belle's castle. It is so beautiful to be here in person. I can't believe it. I always see these iconic photos and videos and the fact that to be able to be here this weekend for the 30th anniversary. Ah, well, to be here this weekend for the first time ever for myself too. Coming out of the castle's wall and it looks like you're in Beauty and the Beast. Like this is literally the town in Beauty and the Beast. Somewhere in France. I'm not in Disneyland Paris, but I'm in the set of where Belle lives. All right, we're gonna go on our first ride of the day, which is the Peter Pan ride over here. Looks so cool. Okay, this is this is it. Of course, gonna line up because we're here. Look at that line. Oh, I'm so excited. Ah! It's like I'm running through Bell's Castle right now on an epic adventure to catch the parade. <laughs> Yes. 
Frontierland, Adventureland, there's so many lands to explore in Disneyland. Like, it's a whole world within a world here. to take this old school railway for a railroad trip all around the park. They have this train at every park, but when I was at Disneyland in California, where that was my first time ever going to Disneyland, period, I didn't even get the chance to ride it. So now I'm making up for lost time. I'm also obsessed with the interiors and the real life well-preserved trains that Walt Disney himself saved, or so the story goes. We have our own carriage in the Disney train. Ooh, the train ride you can do it pit stops basically get out of different lands around the park so we got out to explore the futuristic discovery land as you can see it's a very space out of this world theme which makes it perfect for the Buzz Lightyear and Star Wars so we're going on a Buzz Lightyear theme fun ride where it's also a shooting game Report to the flight deck for immediate loss. To infinity and beyond. Please face forward. This is like one of the best rides ever. 
So she says you can shoot and get a score too. <laughs> I mean, I would love to live in a town like this, in a city like this. It's just so aesthetically beautiful. And <laughs> the world would just be a happier place, probably. <laughs> I love this. We have stepped into the world of Aladdin. <laughs> so from Agraba to the world of the Pirates of the Caribbean. Look at this ship. You bet I'm gonna go on that ride. Exploring the world of Adventure Isle to this cavern. Where does it lead? Where does it go? A little bit of Pirate of the Caribbean vibes, a little bit of Indiana Jones vibes here. Ooh, let me show you where it goes. <gasps> Look, a vase on this wooden bridge. We explore. Five ships. Going into the world. Alice in Wonderland now, especially with their labyrinth. This way, this way, up and down. We have to watch it. And we have to watch it. Yeah, the final season. They say Alice in Wonderland is my dream. They say that. Finally made it to the castle.
just came out of the Big Thunder roller coaster. Literally, there are tears in my eyes because of the ride. Whew. That was a good scream fest. Ooh, look at my hair. It's like blown up everywhere. It's a good scream fest because I was with all these little kids that I got to scream with. So there was no shame. No shame. And look at that view. Ooh, that was the ride itself. We got tickets to the Lion King show, so now we gotta hustle to make it to the theater in time because after that roller coaster ride, that was so fun, but the line was crazy long. Okay, I can't wait to catch this show live. In the
wind down our first day in Disneyland Paris, we're excited to explore the Sleeping Beauty castle. There's just, y'all, there's just so many details here. I love being able to roam around freely and touch everything. The castle is on multiple floors with terraces, so there's plenty of spots to discover. We had a blast for our first day at Disney in Paris and can't wait for just day two where we will continue celebrating the park's 30th anniversary. Check out that video next and definitely leave me a comment below on what you enjoyed most about the park. Just looking over my kingdom. 